Hey ladies and gents, we are back with some Avornian, and we are talking about what kind of enemies are we going to be running into inside the barrier. Now I've alluded to this, I've talked about it, I've described a few times exactly what kind of firepower we're going to be running into, but we're going to actually going to really talk in depth about what we're going to find here in the center. Now currently at the position that I'm at, I'm getting ready to, well I'm, I've been mining for a while, but I want to mine more Avornian and all that kind of stuff. Uh, the problem is almost every sector that you go to that's a, you know, a yellow blip, will have Zotan in them or uh, Pirates. Uh, those are typically the two baddies you're going to be fighting in the center of the galaxy most of the time. Uh, pirates are just like the outside of the Pirates, a Pirate sec a sector we are looking for, right? For example, there's three ships right there of the whatever heck of the Pirates. I want to I wanna be able to harvest that uh, for the Avorian ore or just in general, any ore in there. Uh, so I have to clean these systems out. So everyone, almost every one of these systems here that was in the center that had asteroids in them have this, uh, Zotan and uh, pirates. The pirates here are no different than the ones on the outside. You jump in, you kill the first four ships. Uh, they another set jumps in, and they just could get progressively harder. <coughs> now in the center of the galaxy, the pirates, their typical main weapon uh, are torpedoes. They're not really you know, you run into some of them that'll have four million plus. Sheet. We're playing on expert level. Uh, you, you know, you're going to have to, uh, you know, as you get to the harder levels or the uh, not as hard levels, you're going to have to adjust those numbers up and down. Uh, but the highest one I've seen is 4.5 million shields and 4.5 million hull. <laughs> and it's usually only one or two of the 12 or so pirates you're going to have to fight to clean a system out. And that's usually the biggest, baddest one that you find. Uh, and most of their fire part are usually rated by the fact that they fire a lot of torpedoes uh, at you. Uh, and, mo and most of the torpedoes are the kind that penetrate shields. And we're going to look at that. Of course, we're going to use one of these, which is a shield reinforcer. Now, I saw me saw me uh, in the other video uh, when I was testing this out. I didn't throw this one on right away because I wasn't thinking. Uh, I didn't equip my ship correctly. But the shield reinforcer, what it does is it, it makes impenetrable shields, uh, but you lose 64% of the shield durability, uh, and yeah, so it, it it does have its drawback. However, you will not be penetrated by those torpedoes. Therefore, it's a lot easier to deal with these pirates uh, when you're fighting in in this in these systems to clean them out, so you can start mining these uh, asteroid fields. Uh, Zotan is a different kind of fight. These guys typically ten ships. We're gonna we're gonna take that one out. No, well, actually, we're gonna take. No, we, we already did part of that one. Uh, we need something with a lot of. Oh, there's twenty seven hundred asteroids right there. So we'll do that one. Zotan's a little bit different. They tend to be a little bit weaker, at least sometimes when it comes to the you know the sheer number of shields. It depends on the system you jump in. Other things RNG in this game, uh, but they usually have very powerful energy-based weapons, so you have to be a little bit careful uh, when you get into those fights. Uh, they will either, some of them will bypass your shields and some of them will just simply take your shields down really, really fast. So we're going to jump into a couple fights here. Um, we're going to eventually capture that station up there as well. But let's jump in and we're going to go to the this one right here. We have 2200 asteroids there and I want to get into that fight. So we're going to have the typical fight where we jump in and we get into you know, we're gonna blow a couple of these at a bunch, a couple of these guys up, <coughs> and they start sending reinforcements. All right, so these guys are not. Uh, all right, so there's a raider. There's an asteroid field, a marauder. Yeah, see the so it already starts, and if you push the R button, you'll see down here it's an EMP torpedo. So they're gonna start taking down my shields. And that one over there is a another EMP torpedo. So yeah, I don't want to get hit by a whole bunch of these guys. So we're going to start taking out uh, these guys little by little. But this is where I was talking about the shields reinforcer. Because a lot of times they do carry uh, torpedoes that will go through your uh, go through your shields. I'm not terribly worried about it. That's why I don't have any. But yeah, here they come. So with that said, we're going to get into the fight, and then I'll be back later with the Zotan fight. 
Hey ladies and gents, we are done with the pirate fight. So yeah, they were a pain. I had to, I had to actually run twice. Um, the problem with the pirates in, the, in this part of the neck of the woods is the number of torpedoes they fire. Ridiculous. So I captured the last Savage Raider. Uh, he sits at about 777,000 hull and about 908,000 shields. Not the most powerful one. Obviously there is some of them that are in the millions. Uh, but they usually, I think this one had about 41,000 for actual firepower from uh, weapons. Uh, however, torpedoes, we figure in the torpedoes, it puts this thing up over almost half a million Omicron. Uh, what was interesting about it, and there's a reason, uh, that, you know, obviously besides not just uh, getting the, the um, asteroid fields freed up to, to mine, anything in this area is usually going to be tech level 52 uh, for the turret drops, which is going to give you some ridiculously good so these are some captured ones I captured. I had four of these. I have them on a couple of ships now, but I had four of these double Teslas at 33,000. I had a couple of the double, I had two double lightning weapons, and then I had seven of these at 4,295 with a 77% chance, chance of penetrating shields. So you get some really pretty decent drops out of these fights uh, with the pirates and the Zotan. Uh, so these ships are not really that great when you, when you sit down and look at them. Um, you know, they're very low, but they don't have much for power source. I don't know how these things are able to keep up and chase you, but they do for somehow, some reason. And of course you get none of their systems. I got a couple systems on here to get this thing back here, uh, but you get no systems. And I think I had two pulse cannons on here is all I had that, that it came with the ship. Uh, but this gives you a general idea of, this is kind of the higher end of the pirate scheme for shields and hull, uh, but firepower wise. However, their big one, and I took the torpedoes off this thing uh, when I jumped. I didn't want to lose them in case this thing got attacked. But I believe, does he have them? I transferred them to one of these ships. Nope, not that one. They are in that one. Uh, what made what made this fight so ridiculously stupid, um, at least wise, this is the torpedoes This that uh, raider was, or that um, savage pirate ship had on it, which was antimatter, 466,000 damage uh, to the, to sh uh, to hull and uh, almost 350,000 damage to shields. So it can run through your shields relatively quick. But yeah, this thing was spamming these things as fast as it could uh, at me. Uh, so yeah, it was it was an interesting fight. Uh, the higher end stuff you're going to be looking at probably. Let's see if we can find him here. I did capture another one of these, which is a pirate, uh, pirate mothership. It was a 1 million hull and 1.57 million shields. Uh, this one was a little bit more entertaining, uh, this fight. This was, uh, this of course, is, like I said, a pirate mothership. Um, so this is kind of on the real high end. Uh, you'll see up to 4 million on some of these pirate ships. But kid, kind of give you an idea what you're, what you're going to be running into for the fight-wise what you need to get your ships. This is also a great way, um, getting into these fights right here, is a great way to prepare yourself for the center guardian. If you can stand up to say <coughs> 15 or so pirates or 20 Zotans and you're able to take it on, uh, you're probably doing pretty well. You're probably getting ready for that, uh, the, the, the final boss fight. So with that said guys, we are going to look at the Zotan and uh, we're going to see what uh, exactly is so special about them. All right, guys, we are back with some of the Zotan. These are, there's 10 of them here currently in this sector, and they've range. Uh, I haven't picked a fight yet, and I probably won't. I can get close enough to these guys and show you what's going on uh, without having to pick up a big fight and get into a long. Now, it's, Zotans really range a lot, uh, especially when it comes to firepower. That one's only got 18,000 hull, 17,000 uh, for the firepower. Uh, what's this one got? So we get some closer ones here. But honestly, they're one, they're one of the weirdest when it comes down to that. They typically like energy-based weapons, so Teslas and lightning weapons, which go through your shields relatively quick. However, them, they themselves are not overly powerful ships. Um, you know, they usually have the weakness against and resistance against and that kind of stuff. Uh, but for the most part, they're not overly ridiculous. And they do not spam... Uh, torpedoes at you like the pirates do so they're a little easier to deal with uh, there just happens to be a lot more of them uh, so they yeah uh, for the most part not a not a hard fight uh, but they do you do have to be 
somewhat careful when you're dealing with them. So that one's 206, 21,000 uh, Omicron firepower, 206,000 shields, 195,000 hull. Um, that I'm going to say is probably a typical one that you're going to run into right there that size. However, like I said, uh, unknown what kind of firepower they have. They, 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 they have some weird weapons a lot of times that will penetrate your shields relatively easy or they'll take your shields down real quick. So they're kind of a tricky fight. you got to be watching what you do. When you jump into the system, of course, always make sure you get an escape route right away uh, so you can go back to where you got to go, you know, in case you're losing, or just run for it. For the most part in this game, if you can keep your top speed, um, this one is around... Uh, let's get up to top speed quick here. And I, what I mean by top speed, not boosting. If you can, if you can keep this top speed of you that you have over 2,000 meters a second, most of the time you can just run away from these guys. Um, once you boost and get out 30, 40 kilometers ahead of them, and just stay on it without using the boost like this at 2,000 meters a second, they won't be able to catch you. You can either let your shields recharge, or you know, wait for the uh, chance to jump out. Uh, at least speed-wise. Uh, that'll keep you safe. You can boost and get away from them uh, and then just run until you're able to either recharge your shield and get back in the fight or jump out and come back. So for the most part, the Zotan are just kind of a weird bunch. And you cannot capture these guys just like every boss in the in the game or, you know, in Zotan in general. I have, you cannot capture uh, Zotan ships, so we cannot look at them uh, for what they are. Um, pirates are probably a little bit harder, in my opinion, just because of the sheer amount of torpedoes they fire. Uh, you know, between the EMPs and all that kind of stuff. And I got a video coming about torpedoes and explaining all that kind of crap. Uh, but for the most part, you're not going to run into, you know, and I, I have seen Zotans with up to a million Omicron, but your average everyday Zotans in this game are not quite that powerful. Uh, but not saying that some of these are not going to have some ridiculous, let's check out those set of three right there, have some ridiculous, um, for example, this is a hardcore, you know, they, they, they usually have a, what do you want to call it, a uh, difficulty setting next to them. And that one's got 136,000 Omicron. Um, that is in a summoner. And that one's a frigate, 753.9 Omicron, no shields. So there's your most powerful one right there. Uh, which is not much for shields and not much for hull, but uh, has 136,000 Omicron. Uh, however, there's usually large packs of them. You know, we're talking 10 plus. So you get into that big a fight, it can be kind of, you know, a little ridiculous. For the most part, everything else uh, you're going to run into, like say for another system over here, their ships are usually pretty mundane. Uh, but we're talking about center here where we're, we're, we're starting to clear out these groups of aliens and um, uh, pirates trying to get ready to mine. So with that said, kind of give you guys an idea of what you're going to be running into. Of course, this is an expert. You're going to have to uh, judge up and down depending on what you run into. So you guys have a good night, and uh, thanks for watching.